the 50th anniversary of Corvette competing at Le Mans is special for any number of reasons. Not the least of which is when you consider Corvette began its production legacy in 1953, running up until today. Uh, here at Laguna Seca, we did a parade lap with three of the old cars in our, in our new car and the new uh, 50th anniversary car that General Motors made. And I'm telling you, it was emotional driving around the track, looking in the mirror and seeing those cars on the track. And, and uh, you know, to see Gullstrand and those guys show up here. If you look back to, to 1960, the car that was on the racetrack had a tremendous amount of production content. So it was a great opportunity for Corvette to demonstrate to the world what the car could accomplish. And those same principles are alive today. If you look at our GT2 car, a high amount of production content. It's a great opportunity for us to take our iconic halo vehicle on a global stage and demonstrate to the world what a great product it truly is. Uh, Dr. Thompson made a, a really cool point earlier today. He talked about, you know, the Corvette back then, you know, uh, beating cars two and three times the price. And uh, when I when I got in this car yesterday and, and fired it up, the, the, the two things that, that struck me was, uh, number one, the similarity is it's still got the great V8 sound. And 50 years later, you know, we're still beating cars that are, you know, outperforming cars that are two and three times the price. So there's... That's, that's, that's a cool part of it. That's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corvette was then and still is America's sports car. And how do you feel looking at these guys and the, the record that they've achieved since the Corvette went back to Le Mans a few years ago? Well, it, 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 <laughs> it satisfies your life. You know, here you've spent all this time running around trying to make something happen, and these guys have done it. And, and so it, it validates your childhood is what it really does. You know, here all this stuff we've done, and these guys have and made it happen. And I'm, you can't imagine how incredibly proud I am of the car and the guys in the market today, you know, looking what the Corvette is. You can't imagine that old plastic pachyderm with a six-cylinder flush o -matic, whatever, you know, the, in 53 to have to come to this. And nobody ever backed down. The tenacity and the experience, you know, and the talent that, that went into this is just, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's really exciting. This morning, got to the racetrack, we're going to say a beautiful place. A little chilly. Uh, ran morning warm up, went really smooth. Car was pretty good. We made a couple of changes and uh, got ready for the race. Race started, had a great car. Both cars are really strong today. We ended up sixth, not the end of the world. Our car's in pretty good shape for Le Mans. And uh, we'll be loaded up next Thursday and on our way across to the pond. Competing at the 24 Hours of Le Mans is the cornerstone of our race program. That is the holy grail of road racing. It's an honor to compete there. You have to be selected to compete there. You just don't enter. For Corvette to have sustained itself from 1960s, 50 years later to have us go back, I think that says it all. It, it couldn't be any more important to the corporation or to the brand. Uh, my personal emotions of France are, you know, it's the biggest sports car race. I grew up in a sports car racing with my dad, racing bug-eyed sprites and, uh, you know, all little tiny cars and, and never even dreaming this big. It, it's so hard to get there and then to get a chance to win it, and you just can't make that stuff up. I mean, it, it, it takes everything you have, and when you get it, it's unbelievable. Cannot be put in words. I can't tell you today what an amazing experience it is, but to stand there on the, the walkover where the, where the winners stand and look down at tens of thousands of people from all different countries, many of them wearing Corvette shirts, Corvette hats. It's truly an amazing moving experience that I encourage everybody to do at least once in their lifetime. Any event leading up to this is getting ready for Le Mans. And Le Mans is so unique, it's pitch dark, no lighting on the track, uh, it's eight and a half miles long, it's a once in a year event. You never know if you're gonna go back the next year. It's just a, it's a big opportunity and you gotta be at your best all the time, every minute of the race. The absolute awe of the place. You know, the the Mulsanne Strait, the history, uh, you know, even in 2000, the, the kind of speeds we were doing with the Corvette then, the C5, um, were, was awfully impressive. But it it, uh, it was it was a place where you, you certainly 
gave it a lot of respect. <laughs> Every day I ride into that racetrack, I make that right hand turn and the little left into the racetrack and you see those big red spires at the entryway. I still get goosebumps and I've done it a thousand times. There's no place on earth like Lamont.